So now we've come downstairs from the, the tank. The tank's full of, full of cold water. And in this property, because this is a, a fairly modern property, the upstairs taps are, or the upstairs cold taps are fed from the tank. In a lot of older properties, and in some new properties as well, the, the cold taps upstairs are also fed by mains pressure, as are the downstairs taps. Now you can uh, you need to follow your own pipe work through on the guidelines that we've given you to see how each appliance is fed. But in this instance, you can see, and we'll go into the airing cupboard in a moment to make that a little clearer. But in this case, the water, the cold water from the tank upstairs, feeds the um, the hand basin here. Now because of the the head that we spoke about, the distance between that tank and this tap, that's quite a good head, there's about seven or eight feet of head there. Um, so that gives you quite a good bit of pressure on the cold tap here, even though this is tank fed rather than mains fed. Um, the hot water coming from the immersion tank, which is uh, not quite so high, um, you can see there's a reduction in pressure there. Um, but we'll talk about the hot water in a moment. The cold water um, is at quite good pressure because of the head involved. So the tank feeds the upstairs basin, um, and if we move across here to the system, um, this is also tank fed. Um, the mains, uh, mains systems tend, because they're under so much more pressure, tend to make quite a lot of noise when they're filling up and sometimes leads to the judder or water hammer that you can hear. There are a couple of um, uh, tricks of the trade on the website that show you how to get over water hammer. Um, one of them, interestingly, involving a yogurt cup, um, which you attach to the ball valve um, to stop it juddering up and down. Um, but but under, under tank pressure, that, that doesn't happen so often. So that's a nice, quiet refill to the system. And if we move um, round to the right from the toilet system and down to the bath taps, we can see that the bath tap as well is also fed from the tank. So quite a good pressure from the head um, of the tank down to the taps. And that really is the domestic cold water system from the ground up to the tank and then back down to the taps. Now, some of that, uh, the water from the tank goes into the immersion heater to, to, to make the, the hot water system within the property work. So we're gonna go across to the airing cupboard now and we can start talking about how that works.